got off the call with somebody who was really important to my business growth and development. He picked up the phone and called me. He seen this marketing campaign I've been running on LinkedIn. And he called me. Well, he, he messaged me first and asked me, like, who do you work for now? Like, what company? Who owns that company you work for? And I shared with him that it's my company. And he said, wow, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me you had your own company? I want to help you. I said, well, I, I just been working it. I didn't know, you know, I didn't know you wanted to help me, that type of thing. He said, oh, no, no. If I can help you, I will help you. I told him thank you. Stayed on a call with me like 45 minutes, asked me a bunch of tough questions. I'm talking about the time, kind of questions that'll trip you up and walk me through some things I needed to do to make my business a little bit more successful in the direction I need to go in. Help me, right? So today, let me ask you this, right? Do you have plans and ambitions on being a business owner? Do you have plans of starting a business once you're done with um, working? And if you do, I want to offer you a couple of suggestions that I know will help you. It's not a question about um, will it help you. It's all about will you do it, okay? Number one, if you plan on being in business, and you're fortunate enough to still have your job, your current employment, the number one thing I know you should be doing is meeting the powerful decision makers now, associating with them, making sure they have a good image of you, making sure they understand your work ethic, they understand what you're all about as far as being a professional, etc. And how you go about that is working, being a professional, but working. So it's the missing piece. I think a lot of people, a lot of times are great workers, but they're just not professionals. So your professionalism and your work ethic combined will speak for you and it will enter the room before you. If you know the scripture in the Bible that say your gift will make room for you and bring you in the presence of mighty men, that what you do will make a way for you. And what you do and how well you do it and how much of a professional that, professional that you do it in, it will enter that place before you get there. Your reputation will already be in the room. It's just like a negative re reputation, a lazy worker. Somebody say, well, you know, he lazy and that will enter the room before you. He, he got a, she has a bad attitude that will enter the room before you. Right. So you want whatever enters the room before you. It is a reputation of hardworking professionalism individual. All right, so buddy up, get to know the decision makers. Also get to know the future decision makers, the people that you see sitting right now beside you at work, but they're professional. They dress a certain way, they talk a certain way, they're associated with a certain people. These people are headed in a direction to being a future decision decision maker. And these are the people you're gonna wanna know in business. When I got in business, all the business primarily came to me through relationships. No, all the business wasn't like a piece. Every job I've had to date has came from my previous relationship. The people that I knew in the marketplace, they were future C, they were CEOs, they were, they were whatever they were at the time, but now they're business owners, now they work at other companies, etc. So now they in a position to tell me yes, they bring them um, jobs my way, they bring in work my way, okay? And it all came from me being a hard worker, busting my butt and my professionalism, speaking for me, being the go-to person, none attitude, none confrontation, all right? So now this is a warning for you, for all my people who are gonna take this and run with it at work tomorrow. The people that you're working with, a lot of the people who don't have dreams or ambitions of being a business owner, they don't, they're not looking for anything they just want to work, get their check, pay their bills, take their vacay. And that's fine. But you have different, you have a different outlook and different vision. So you have a different strategy. You're going to become directly in opposition of them. They're going to stop liking you. They're going to say, you're brown nose. Why are you dressed like that? You don't have to wear a suit to work. You don't have to wear that collar shirt to work. You don't, why are you talking like that? Why are you always in their face? Why are you trying to talk to them? They're going to get offended. They are. They're going to get offended by your drive. So understand that and expect it. Okay. So point one. Make the relationship today at work with the decision makers. 
if you can. I know some companies have layers and it's hard to get to the CEO. If you're fortunate enough to see the CEO walking down the hallway, hey, how you doing? I'm such and such. Just wanted to introduce myself to you. Nice to meet you. Boom. And move on. Work your butt off. Allow your work and your work ethic to speak for you. Eventually, eventually, your work will overshadow the hate. It will overshadow. Because a lot of times in corporate America and working places uh, where you work at, the person who you directly report to tend to take all the credit for your work. So everybody swear he or she is the genius and it's really you. So your struggle is to get off from under their shadow. That's your struggle, right? So that's a fight. And how you can start doing it is by making relationships with people, shaking hands, kissing babies. That's what you do. All right. Meet the people who are in power today and also meet the people who are in, who are headed that way. You can tell them by the way they work, by the way they talk, by the people they tend associated with, associate with, how they dress, how they carry themselves. They tend to be the people that a lot of workers don't like because they have a dream and vision of being something bigger than just a worker. And finally, understand that your fellow worker is not going to like you. They're going to hate on you. They're going to talk about you. But at the end of the day, hey, you're different. You're going to a different place. This is Larry, man. I hope this helped you. And if you use it, I believe it will. I'm going to talk to you next time.